What's up, guys? Welcome back to Sierra Squared, aka the Shit Show. My, I am JP, and you're not. So anyway, yeah, I thought we would take a quick little look at a uh, little end again. It's been out for several months now. Um, it is a turn-based kind of uh, game. Um, I don't know how to explain it really. All right, so. It's a beautifully done little uh, pencil sketched game. So we're gonna start with a new game here and we're gonna take a look at it. And it's uh, it's actually kind of funny. Uh, I've got maybe an hour and a half, two hours of gameplay. This is the guild of Dungeoneering all across the land. They're cheering, oh, to be a Dungeoneer. Chasing fame and glory. All right, I love the bard, guys. Love the bard. He's probably one of my favorite characters. So, okay, so you start with a very yep. You start with your guild, and uh, eventually you will collect dungeoneers, or you will acquire them uh, through um, uh, purchase points, essentially. Uh, drag the barracks to the car. Oh, oh yeah. So this is where you make you're you're essentially creating your own dungeon. The one that's always left behind, the solitary lump, the pawn who's fodder for the grind, the sorry little chump. <laughs> the chump. Let's do, um, let's do, hmm, eh, we'll just keep it simple. There we go. All right. Um, you can expand your guild to gain new dungeoneers, is what it says. Uh, but first, try going on an adventure. So yeah. So we have one little dungeoneer, and uh, our only selection is to do this. So now, as you progress through the game, and you add dungeoneers, and you complete these, so you have these quests that you have to complete. Now, if I had some blessings, uh, they're basically buffs. So that would obviously enhance your player's uh, skills, whether it be HP or armor or, or whatever. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's enter this. And if you guys like this game and you would like to see some more, uh throw some likes down there in the uh in the bottom of the channel just below the screen in the description and uh we'll get some more gameplay in here as of right now it's just uh let's say a first look first impression or it, it, it's basically a let's play that looks a bit like a gold coin so yep here we go this is where the turn based comes into play so these are your attack icons this is a double attack icon and another single attack icon so he dropped a an anger with a minus one damage. So we're gonna play that guy. So he took a damage because he played that. So now he can hit me with two damage and I have a block. So I can block one of his strikes and he's still taking a damage. So he essentially killed himself. <clears throat> Now these all have, there you go, there's your buffs. One physical damage, quick, uh, draw a card. And this is a, oh, I gained an extra heart. And uh, Pigeon, this is really loud. <clears throat> Alright, and the Pigeon Nest is a magic damage and a heart. So, I, th I don't know. I think we're going to... Um... Yeah, I think we're going to do the Pigeon Nest. And it's a helmet. It goes on top of your head. There you go. And I love the artwork. In it. It's all pencil sketched. It's, it's beautifully done. It's absolutely... So play up to three cards this turn. So these, now, this is where it can get 
interesting. I can make this dungeon as difficult as I want or as easy as I want. So for the sake of it right now, we're going to play this guy. And so these these are the levels. One, he's got 5 HP or health points. And yeah. We'll toss whoop. We'll toss him here. So my goal is to defeat two monsters. So I'll go boom, boom, and I'll be good to go. And I'll defeat the map. So now we can just end the turn. Should be should be simple enough. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so what's he dropping? He's dropping a magic. So, so but he's gonna take a hit. He's gonna take a hit by playing that. Oh, we add, it was a bonus. I didn't see the minus. Okay. Okay. I'm under your bullski. And he's got a block. He's got a shield. So I just blocked his shit. Uh, all right. He can only block once. And I got a double. Boom. There you go. The game is super, super simple. boom there we go um i will tell you eventually it does get a little bit more complicated uh later on in the game obviously so the cards reshuffle and we're gonna block it since we only have two we're gonna block that shit. oh crap um we gotta block it again Damn it. That's alright. That was close, though. That was close. That was too close. That was too close to what I wanted. Okay, so here is a weapon. We finally get a weapon. And you can tell by just looking down here. Weapon, head, offhand. Because your character has those the, the, the four-way deal going on. So we can get two... I can get this one magic damage plus one HP. And this will open up different attacks or armor. And that that card, the stupidity card, is really just a waste. It is really just a waste. I don't know that it's random. I haven't played it. I don't know that it's random or not. Um Uh, let's do, let's do fork. Let's go at him. So there we go. He's all armored up, ready to go. Uh, we've kind of got this. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that either. Um, you know what? Let's just, um, let's just end our turn there. So he's going to go up here and this is the only, this is the last monster I, I have left and I'll clear the map. All right. So he's got a, uh, a hit and the no shield means that there's no way I can block that. So yeah, let's, let's go after him. We got that sucker back. Got that heart back. So, hmm. Eh. We'll, we'll do an eyes closed punch, do some flailing. But I, I took a shot, that's fine. Ooh. Let's do a double punch. All right, he got me, he got me once. Oh, he's going down. He is going down. He's gonna take a beating, take a beating. We'll do one for one. One for one, boom. Right in the grill, right in the old grizzle. There we go. I'm unsure if you understand. This used to be a peaceful land. Since your guilt come along, everything has gone wrong. And I dread to know now what you've planned. So, as you complete maps, you earn gold or G. Uh, and you 
also earn bonuses, gain a new battle scar. Those are actually positive uh, in this game. So yeah, so we'll just return to our guild with our gold in hand. Your dungeoneer can move twice. If you, uh, that's that really that's my only complaint is the reading is super fast. So there we go. So we can expand our guild, and this this will create rooms so that we can um, acquire dungeoneers. So do we want magic loot or might? What do we want? I think we want magic. Um, let's see, we'll do the library and unlocks the print the apprentice. So there we go. So let's put, yeah, let's put there. A practical student who's always prudent, yet very pretentious and conscientious. Another nuisance for our amusement. I give to you an apprentice. <laughs> I love the bard. I love the bard in this game. Uh, Dungeoneers. So let's. Uh, okay. Uh, I cannot. Okay, so that's what he has. And JP has those. I. Okay, so those are just you're just you're just simple overview of your dungeoneer. So let's get to uh, exploring. Um, we'll break the yeah, yeah. We'll break the uh, break the apprentice in. Don't worry if things go wrong in a dungeon. There's always more dungeoneers. They do you do acquire new dungeoneers should you one of your dungeoneers die. Okay, so this is where we build our foes dungeons. So this is our our boss right here. So we have to defeat the Rat King. So the best thing to do is to get to him as quick as possible. So does it look like we're gonna too easily? So we'll do that. Uh, we'll, we'll end the turn, and he's gonna go straight for him. Damn it! All right. Oh, okay. I've got, I've got more stuff. So let's put coins there. A room there. Um and. there let's see what happens we didn't have to play that but it's not gonna hurt okay so he's got an unblockable punch and I'll drop an unblockable magic spell boom so we're still one for one all good we'll do a double magic Yowza! Got him. Alright. So, so that's a magic shield, but he's not playing magic, so I'm not worried about that. So we'll just take that. So I went first because that was the quick the, the quick punch. And this is all I have is fire shield. But it doesn't matter because, again, he's not using magic. Uh, Kappa. Ooh, that's better. Flame, uh, flame lash. Um, straight jacket and a pigeon nest. Hmm. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a pigeon nest. Right on the old, right on the old noggin. Can't complain. Um. Hmm. I think we're gonna. Put him right there and uh, yeah we're gonna call that the turn there we go now I haven't figured out what the little plant that I just inherited means 
I don't need to put any more. I, no, we're good. I don't need to put any more. Now, what do we got? We got Ratman. Head blow if successful. Enemy discards. Okay. So. Ooh, that's fine. Because I'll just automatically gain an HP back. Boom. And he's still down one. So we're good. We are good to go. We are good to go. He's not using magic, so I'm really kind of just ass out on that one. But I still took him down one, so we're good. Still not using magic, so I'll use the quick. The quick allows you to go first, essentially. Ooh, I could get him to... Let's, let's see what happens. Oh. Okay. Ooh. I gotta go I gotta go first this is where it gets tricky so I've never been in this situation but I may be able he's gonna lose a heart regardless and I can't block I don't have any uh, punch uh, block punch so I killed him first I still have a heart we're good to go we are good to go all right we got a coif uh, club and a fire. I'm gonna go with the club. I think I'm gonna go with the club because we need we need that extra. It gives him some uh, shielding powers. So we're just gonna keep that as is. We're gonna, we're headed straight to him. So I think we're gonna just keep trucking along. Never thought I'd miss that grubby old whatever. All right. Uh, now you. Now, it won't let you do just whatever you want to do. So, I got a corridor. See, these are the only places I could put them according to the game the game rules. Now, I could... I don't want to do that. We're just going to we're just gonna end the turn and take him out. Rat King, here I come. Rat King, if this going to be the dead king. Ah, right, bash. So, this is... This is where that club comes in handy. So I can block one of those. There we go. And I only took one. He took an extra because he had that negative heart. So we got an unblockable punch. So that's fine. I can't block that punch. So we're going to give him the old twofer money. There we go. Another unblockable punch. All right. All right. Well, we're going to get one back. Boom. You ain't fooling with me, Rat King. Ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Your shit's weak. Weak. What do we got? Oh, my hero. All right. Oh, he's going to go down one. He is going to go down. We're not hurting, but better safe than sorry. So we're going to take those two hearts right back. Dunskies. Dunskies. That's mine. Well, victory, it being such a fine fleeting thing, is often not to be found. Who knows what horrors the future may bring? So cherish it while it's around. <laughs> you are absolutely right. You can speed everything up with turbo mode in the options screen. I don't really want turbo mode because I'm obviously it, it wouldn't make for a good little uh tutorial I guess you could say it's not really doing a tutorial but you know nonetheless let's put him let's put him up here and out of the way caught up in all this doom and gloom of all the places you've wrecked it's nice to have a big trophy room a place to quietly reflect so this is your just as he said, your trophy room. So we're going to expand one more time. So let's do uh, bruiser or hmm. Yeah, let's do the bruiser. Training yard. So let me put him there. How? Not a gentle kind of dungeoneer, nor a poet. Or a muser, 
but one that fills the heart with fear. I give to you the bruiser. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Lenny the bruiser. All right. All right, so yeah, let's um let's press. What's this? There's more, a whole world to explore. Why there's gold to be found and treasure in store. But what's the point you're all hit and miss? It's so plain to see. You're not cut out for this. <laughs> Why are you busting my balls so much? Always busting my balls. All right, so we've got three new dungeons to choose from. Um, let's see here. Let's start here. The Goblin Menace. All right. Yeah. Let's get Lenny in the in the in the fiasco here. All right. Now oh, playing two wheeler dungeons. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Hero. Okay. Uh, we want. Oh, I can't. I can't put him there. All right. I can't put him there either. Damn it. I must defeat four monsters. So. Dude's armed. And he's for okay. Well, I don't have a choice, so let's do it. <laughs> All right. How do you okay? So he's oh, he's gonna take damage. So we could be an epic dude. We're gonna be a douche. We're gonna be a dude. Dunskies, you're gonna take a hit and you're gonna get another one just for being stupid. Just for being stupid. Because that's how I roll. I do this. I do this. So, and we can take a shot. That's fine. We can take a shot. Ah. Right. Oh, he's got a double and he's going to... Ooh. Hoo -hoo. Yep. Nope. You're going to you're gonna end up hurting yourself. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right. So, we've got Pepper Crown. And that will block both magic and... That is a handy dandy little card to get. And your typical ruffle shirt. So we're going to get the paper crown, I think. Because then that will allow me to block magic spells that are thrown up in our grill. We're going to get that. And we're going to toss, uh, yeah, we want some gold. And that's going to end our turn. All right. Lenny versus the Goblin. Oh, it sounds like a, 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 a B horror movie. All right, so he's got a. Ooh, if it's successful, I have to discard. Well, we're just gonna throw an unblockable punch. So it was successful. I had to discard. That's fine. That's fine. He's gonna take damage, so I'm just gonna throw another punch at him. So there we go. As long as we can stay ahead of him. We'll be fine. He's going to take another damage. So I've locked both of his punches. There we go. Uh, we'll just take it home. We're going to take it home. Look at that. Boom. I'll keep throwing. Yeah. He's down and dead. Keep punching him. <laughs> keep. Oh, oh, no. That's not what I wanted. But all right. Fine. I just wanted to read it. But it's a shield. Um, let's see. Scorpion. You know what? Ooh, no, 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 no. Hmm. He's got eight. I don't know if Lenny can... I don't know if Lenny can handle that scorpion. Don't know if Lenny ha can handle that scorpion. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, what do we got? We got that guy... Yeah, we need to cover our butts here. All right. All right, we're going to block this guy. Boom, we got a second. Okay. Picked us up in HP. Oh, he's got, ooh, he's got a triple. Holy crap. We might be okay. Yeah, we're okay. Oh, he's got another triple. 
but he's gonna ultimately do himself in. That's fine. I got him. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he did that. So we got Blade Glyph. Ooh. We can turn the bruiser into a slight uh magic magic character. So let's um I think we're just gonna pick the club. There we go. So we got sticks and stones. They call the sword and board. Um, what do we got? So we need we need to defeat one more monster. So we're gonna take this because we'll get that once we get into that room, and uh, yeah, we can essentially end our turn because he's gonna go there anyway, as identified by his blue footsteps. I don't know why he's stepping in blue ink, but nonetheless. Um, so we got a goblin here that's fixing to throw a double and take a damage. So we're going to block that double. So he's just going to hurt himself ultimately. And I gave back because I was a successful block. Um, what do we got here? So we're going to throw, he's going to waste this hit. So there it is. Filled it back up and he took a magic damage. All right, so let's toss some bash at him. Doing it all wrong, Goblin. Doing it all wrong. Look at that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Well, this is really just quite surprising. What dungeoneers just can for us? Against all odds, they keep surviving. They're so dumb. <laughs> Why even bother? They're so dumb. <laughs> Oh my god, the bard alone in this game is is almost worth just just listening to the game and playing it. It's freaking hilarious. Alright. Yeah, so uh we're gonna end here. If you guys want me to keep playing uh some more, hit me up. Throw throw down a uh smash that like button down below. Uh subscribe to the channel and uh I'll see if we can't uh make this a full playthrough. Uh, if you like, if not, then uh, that's no problem. I have more than enough games to uh, to quench your appetite for uh, gaming videos and hopefully some uh, better than mediocre content, uh, commentary, excuse me. And um, also, I'll put a link down in the description to where you can purchase the game. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, we'll see you guys in the next game. Cheers, guys.